Ladies and gentlemen, it's Anna and Molly. Hey, sneak peekers. I'm Anna. I'm Molly. And live from Austin, it's, it's Tuesday, Tuesday night. night. I'm not your musical guest or your host. And neither am I. But we're here to talk about our most anticipated movie of the year. That's right. Thanks to our friends at Fonz PR, last week we had an awesome opportunity to catch an early screening of Saturday Night, a retelling of the chaotic backstage of the first ever Saturday Night Live broadcast. And to say it was chaotic is putting it lightly. The movie takes us on an exciting and anxiety-inducing whirlwind of the hour and a half leading up to the first show, and it left us here at Sneak Peek looking very professional. Oh, please. I wouldn't say that. We're very professional here at Sneak Peek. Remember how this was supposed to be a prereq? No, I don't. I wasn't at the meeting. Right. Well, it's just because, like Lauren Michaels, I like to keep everyone on their toes. Is that also why you submitted this script about an hour ago? Exactly. It was all to emulate the feeling of Saturday night. It's really just one of those movies that feel like you're just going up and up and up on the roller coaster, even if it makes you sick. Well, lots of things make me sick. She's vegan. And a lover of SNL. I loved getting to see a backstage view of a show that I've been watching for years. The duration of the film was consistent with the countdown to the live show, creating a palpable tension in the theater. It really felt like we were part of the crew of the first SNL show. The only thing that took me out of the experience was when our waiter served me my buffalo cauliflower wings at Alamo Draft House. Oh, Grayson. And as a lover of the never-ending popcorn bucket and the guests of SNL, this cast was my dream lineup. With stars like Rachel Sennett and Dylan O'Brien having cheeky and hilarious scenes together, all the way to equally supporting act actors that were so hilarious. Of Corey Michael Smith, Ella Hunt, Lamorne Morris, and Kim Matula that brought such a raw and real aspect of the rising actors of the 70s. They really knocked it out of the park. With a cast so full of stars, I love to see the true star of this movie, Lorne Michaels, who is played by Gabriel LaBelle, someone who's a little less known but is totally going to get his big break with this movie. And for the first time ever, I agree with Molly. LaBelle's performance guided the audience to feel exactly what he was going through as it happened, making me feel like I was Andrew Barth Feldman's character of his cousin and assistant. When really we were more like Finn Wolfhard's character, who had just about the same amount of screen time as our bathroom breaks. Despite no, everyone knowing that SNL was still in it was and still is a huge hit, during the movie the audience feels uneasy about the future of the show. Just how uneasy we felt when we heard we had to be on camera together again. Do not go watch the one and only show that we were ever allowed to host together. It's the Thanksgiving special on YouTube, by the way. Clearly my voice needs a rest, so let me take it from here and let's roll the intro. Yeah. 